Hello everyone, I'm going to share with you HP Pavilion 15 inch. The screen broken, if you can see, it's shattered inside. Fell on top of it and it just break. I received the part, I'm going to replace it. I'm going to share with you and I will list the part number under my description. Please check it out in case uh, you need to replace yours. Let's get started. First of all, uh, we're going to power off. It's powered off and let's get started. Take the battery out. Slide it and take the battery. Keep it in safe place. In order to open the screen, you need a guitar pick. And if you don't have a guitar pick, then you put your nail up here. Just pop and then slide a credit card underneath. So we're going to slide just like that. Slide it. It pops open. We're going to go all the way around. On the corners, if you look at, slide the screwdriver underneath. And this one has a small tape on top of it. This we're going to take it out. Then you will see the screw. We're going to remove that screw. Same thing on this side, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to pop it open on the all side. The bezel comes out. You just put your fingers up here and just pop it open. So these are the small tabs which were making noise and on the side we are popping it out. So in order to remove the screen, we are going to remove many screws. One, two, three, four, five, six screws. So after removing all those six screws, the bottom portion comes out. And now on the side, if we look at one screw here, one screw on other side, we are going to remove that, which is holding, that holds the screen in place, and one on the top. So it's just important that we take the bottom screws off first. So make sure that you don't lose the screws. And we are going to take the screws off. These are really tiny screws. So once the screws are taken out, now on back of it, this is the display connector, pull it out and then this is the tape really sticky so you have to be very careful with the connector, very solid tape. Display connector that goes in, that slides in. Now the screen is out, we are going to get the new screen. This is the screen I taken out and this is the new one. So we are going to place the screen just like on top and we have to be very careful. We are going to push. The connector in. And now we're going to put the tape back. Before doing anything, we're going to just put it down and we're going to start it and we're going to see if it's working or not. So I'm just going to lay out flat and I'm going to power it. So I'm going to turn the power on and we're going to see if it's uh, working or not. Yes, it's working. So it's uh, booting up. Looks like the screen is successful replacement. I just wanted to see. Here you go. This was a really broken one. From the top screen looked fine, but inside it was broken. So it's working. I'm going to shut down and I'm going to button up. The first thing, tiny screws, we're going to put those on. So it's important that you start from the bottom. I installed the two screws on the other side and on this side, putting screw in, holding with the screwdriver and then aligning it, I screw it in. So that goes into place. One screw is going to go at the bottom. So this is the fourth screw that holds the screen in place. And as we bring it up, we align it. There is a the small tabs. So this tab is going to go into this hole and we're going to put the screw in. And the same scenario is on the other side. That's like a guide pane. So make sure that uh, we put the screw in. Tighten the screw. So this guide pin goes in there, put the screw in. So once the screw is tightened, we're going to make sure to tighten this side. And now we're going to put the screw on the bottom. And on the bottom one also, if you see that's the guide pin. That comes to this hole and then we're going to put the screws in. Two screws we put it in here and two on this side, one on the top. That holds the screen in place. This is the bezel. 
we're going to put it in. So the way it goes, push it down like this on the screen. This is the one we need to remove it. Now we're going to align this one and we're going to start from the top where the camera is. So we're going to press it in. So as you see, it's nicely getting pressed in. So we're going to go all the way on the side. So we all done. So I'm going to make sure that was, there was one place snap on. Double sided tape, so we're going to place it on top. The safety cover. And yeah, it looks nicer. And that's it. Let's start it. We're going to make sure that it's working. I'm going to enter the password credentials. It's starting off. So far, so good. I'm going to see how the webcam working. Yes. So the webcam is working. Easy and simple to replace your broken screen. And I hope this video is going to help you out in your DIY project. Please give a thumbs up to this video. Like, share and subscribe. I'm going to see you soon with another DIY project. Thank you and have a good day. Bye bye.